John and I met in 1995 at a freight forwarding company we both worked at. We were invited to a mutual colleague's wedding and we went to it as friends and from that point forward we started dating. It was always going places, doing things and being with people. I got pregnant fairly quickly. I remember at our one year wedding anniversary I was already pregnant and had Billy October 23rd, 2002 and Leslie Marie was born June 23rd, 2004. Once the kids were born, he was extremely jealous of them in a weird, sick way. He lost his temper on several occasions in front of several witnesses. I'm talking grabbing my son by the throat, throwing him against a tree. It caused huge problems for us. It's not like I just sat back and watched. It was, you know, you need help. So we stopped doing things as a family together. He was going to therapy and taking medications to help with his anger and temper. He had his good days and his bad days, but ultimately, bad. He came at me with a baseball bat, threatening to kill me, and that was the end of it. We're going through the whole divorce process. My son and my daughter have been in therapy, and they're starting to talk to me about things that happened when I wasn't home. and. Last March, my son confessed at school that he used to be sexually molested. I need to come in and they need to talk to me and they sat me down and when they told me that, I just, I lost it. I was like, what, like, how, when, where? I'm like, that's impossible because he hasn't been in our lives for four years. And he said it started happening from like three years old to about seven or eight. I thought my life was over. I was embarrassed, I was ashamed. I felt worthless, hopeless, and I can honestly tell you that I gave and give 110% to my kids and being a mom. So when you're giving something, you're all, and you fail, it's just a very big shock. I had a serious depression. For about two years that all I did was cry. Anyone that could help has let us down. Walking in here was the hardest thing I had to do. I met with Andrea and then she didn't just speak with Billy. She spoke with Billy and she spoke with me. And then she also did family therapy with us. I owe it to say from the start, they're helping you also as a parent, like it's not your fault. She built my confidence and gave me my self-worth again and just listened to me. After a few sessions with Billy, seeing small changes in him, and it's like, oh my God, like he's smiling, just little things that mean so much. The Children's Advocacy Center does have a very comprehensive approach to dealing with child abuse. Really the paramount job of that therapist is to move that child from victim to a survivor. What she's doing is working, and to see your son be happy and feel good about himself, it, it's priceless.